Hello everyone, this is Eolia with ADSR Sounds, and we're back with another Reason tutorial. And today we're going to be talking about Humana from Sound Iron uh, Software. They commonly make stuff for native instruments and contact libraries and such. So basically what they've done is they've went ahead and they made three instruments that are now natively inserted into Reason 10 along with the update and all the other stuff. So this is just one of them and it's called Humana. And what these three instruments are is they're samplers, basically samplers where you can't you can't change anything related to the the whole pro prospect of the sampling. However, you can change, um, you know, kind of like some presets of what types of samples and like library it will use. And you can also have some like, you know, filter, amp, delay, reverb effects. So really, other than a sampler, there's nothing too crazy going on in here that's going to be revolutionary, but if you combine it with some of the great stuff inside of Reason, such as the effects and all sorts of things, you can make quite some good sounds. Now, when I open it, it's going to sound like this. And this is the Mercury Ah Dressed. There are... How many voices? The Mars Ah... And yeah, okay, so it looks like there's about 13 or so voices. Uh, let's go through the voices. So we'll start from top to bottom. This is great for like epic music. The Mars Ah, uh, we have Mars Ooh. So it sounds like you would actually need quite a few of these and, you know, have a few tracks dedicated to a few Humanas. And then you could actually make some pretty cool, like, phrasings with different, like, ahs and oohs and staccato parts and, you know, the different parts in the Venus and all that sorts of stuff. And even some female parts. <laughs> this is, like, great. If you're trying to make something epic, you'd be like... Pretty cool. So I'm assuming they were just recorded at like maybe 12 pitches. And then from there, they might be stretched. I'm not sure how this would have been recorded, but it's quite interesting. Because I know a human voice can't go this low. Right? That's just me. I don't, maybe I'm wrong. That's nice. <laughs> okay, that just turns into an oscillator at high pitch. Okay, that's also really nice that there's the, the pitch range in here and you can pitch bend this. Great, great fun. It's like a it's like a Reese. It gets more vibrato y when it goes up. That's cool. And the alto. interesting sounds we've got here now there's a there's a delay and what i like it they all have ping pong options on off just very basic delay basic reverb just to get a sound out real quick you know and we even got these sustain and standard like amp setup here pretty cool again a velocity setup similar to grain we'll be seeing a lot of similarities in these new new devices which is very nice we have you know some very basic filters great for pumping out some quick 
sounds again, like I said. Now, there's no LFOs in here, but that's not a problem because we have our new synchronous and all sorts of things that we can come, I believe we can attach to the back right here and we can get some pretty great effects in here with the filter built in without even having to add any extra filters on the outside. So we have a sample start to mod wheel, a frequency cutoff to mod wheel. If we want to attach to the mod wheel over here, like that's nice again. And we've even got a sample start if we want to get rid of some of that like fade in and add our own with the amp. So it's a little more punchy if you want to do something like, you know, vocal choppy with it. We have some octaves, nice, semitones, semi-tune, and then we have uh, our fine tune. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Nothing, nothing crazy. It's nice and simple. Now, as I had said, I think there were some combinators, but there's all these repatches. Now, that's just the way the device itself is set up. So I don't see any combinator patches, so we're just going to have to stick with some presets we have in here. As you can see, we already have some sort of synth bass, as it's called. Yeah, there's just some presets you want to go through, but like I said, there's only delays, reverbs, and amps, and filters, so... While those can do quite a lot, um, there's nothing, there's nothing super fascinating in here that's going to be blowing your mind just in here until you start getting into repatching and stuff. And then that's where your mind will be blown. So thanks for watching this video. See you next time.